When I read that most Swedish freshwater has very high levels of mercury, I first of all didn't really believe it. And then I started asking why. See, I've always thought that Sweden had some of the cleanest fresh water in the world. People just drink out of the rivers like it's no problem. But it is true. Uh, Swedish, most Swedish fresh water is very high in mercury, more specifically the organic form methyl mercury. And the reason why is because of airborne pollution, mostly. When, when you burn fossil fuels, it releases mercury into the atmosphere, which travels long distances, and when the rain starts to dissolve it, it can bring it down and cause it to land in the vegetation, for example here in Sweden. And therefore that means that it's not something that Sweden can stop very easily, because the mercury isn't coming from Sweden. Sweden put in a ban in 2009 on mercury-containing products to stop this pollution. But it just comes from other countries around the world and it is creating problems in Sweden and in places like the Arctic, which is <laughs> so often affected by these things. So what are the issues that this creates? Well, methyl mercury, the organic form of mercury, is very toxic, it causes mercury poisoning, and when it gets into watercourses, when, when runoff um, in the vegetation after it rains, pulls all that mercury down into the lake uh, and the rivers, the bacteria in the lake and rivers, turn it into methyl mercury. And then phytoplankton and stuff like that feed on the methyl mercury, uh, which then are eaten by fish and larger fish, and the thing with fish is that they store methyl mercury in their tissue for long periods of time, um, so they actually highly concentrate that uh, methyl mercury. And it was found that a lot of Swedish fish, most Swedish fish in fact, found in certainly specific lakes in Sweden, were over the limit for human consumption, as dictated by uh, the World Health Organization and the European Union. Um, so, eating fish from Swedish freshwater isn't advised, and it's um, really frowned upon if you're pregnant, for example. Um, and in fact, there have been studies on people who eat lots of fish from Swedish freshwater, and they were all found to have very large amounts of uh, methyl mercury in their hair. So, I found that very interesting. Um, and it doesn't mean that you can't eat fish from Swedish freshwater, you can, just not in high quantities and maybe avoid if you're pregnant, for example. Um, I've eaten fish from Swedish freshwater, I've even drunk out of Swedish rivers and such, and it is, it is safe in, <laughs> in moderate amounts. Um, as with all things, uh, climate change is going to have an effect on it. Um, it's expected that in places like Spain, for example, the uh, methyl mercury concentration may go down, but it's expected that here in Sweden and other northern and arctic places, the methyl mercury concentration in lakes could increase with climate change. It's important to remember as well that it's not just Sweden which uh, has the high concentrations of mercury in the water. Um, lots of countries in the world do, uh, but especially these, these far north countries like Finland, Norway, Sweden, Canada, um, where there is uh, quite a problem caused by it, and it is caused, unfortunately, by the rest of the world. So next time you do catch a fish in Sweden, Finland, Norway, just be aware that it may be quite high in